Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, sorry for the poor lighting and sound. I'm coming to you from one of our uh, network closets. Um, we're here in the emergency department, actually. Did some work on a switch this morning. And um, basically, it's going to end up being my issue of the week, too. Um, issue of the two weeks. So, yeah, this switch has an interesting history. It was originally bought as a budget switch for a single purpose. That is to integrate our nurse call in with the rest of our network. Um, our nurse call for this area, the ED. And so we bought basically just a budget low cost switch from Extreme. There it is. And uh, connected it up. Um, but we couldn't create a, a lag or a, a trunk, an aggregate link, whatever you want to call it, down to our uh, MDF. And um, call Extreme back, why can't we do that? And I said, oh, well, you need a, a dual 10 gig license, 10 gig uplink license. Oh, okay, well, sell us one. So they sold us one, we got connected up, fine, no problem. Um, time passes, and now we want to dual home this as part of our fabric migration. So we want to connect up to the MDF in the basement, and we want to connect another leg of the lag over to the data center. We've forgotten about the uplink licenses. So I plug them in and they don't work. I call Extreme and they say, oh, well, no, you need a quad license. Okay, so we buy the quad license. I apply the quad license. The ports show is not present. Okay, well, why are they not present? Oh, did you clear the old license out? No, did, did you tell me to? Is it in the release notes? Well, no, but you really should do that. So he gives me the commands, I come back, I clear the license out, reboot the switch, because that's required, reapply the, the two licenses I needed. Let me, uh, let me pull up the switch and I'll just show you as I, as I do that. Share screen, here is the switch in question. Now you can, uh, let me make sure I got the right one, hang on. I don't want to share my whole screen. I just want to share this. There we go. All right. So, like I said, I installed the licenses and when I looked at all the ports in question, the uplink ports, 49, 50, 51, 52. 49 and 50 were showing up as not present. 51 and 52 were there. What's up with this? So, the lady I get, I call Extreme back, I get a different person. She says, oh, well, you need to manually set the port speed. Really? All right, so what do I do? What, what do we need to do there? So we manually inset, we set this port speed using these commands down here. So we configured these. No, still no dice, not working. All right, well, let's roll back. Let's just roll back to the dual license. I clear licenses again, put the dual license back in again. And they still won't come up. So we had, we had to run this command again for ports 51, 52. And we were all back to where we were supposed to be. So fast forward a week or two as I'm, I'm, I'm asking her, just, just give me the procedure. What, what are my steps? What should I do? And uh, she never could come up with anything. Um, so I, I basically experimented on one of my switches, came up with what I thought was the right procedure. It seemed to work on my switch. Um, Came back here and tried it, 49 and 50 still don't work. They're still not present. What in the heck? It worked on my test switch. So I call Extreme again. Because I successfully applied the quad license, rebooted the switch, everything was great. Um, the, the ports 51 and 52 had created a lag and I was communicating again. 49 and 50 were still showing up as not present. What in the heck? So I call up Extreme, and he, he's asking me, did you do this? Yes, did you do that? Yes, all the things that, that I had done to apply the license. Oh, is, uh, is that switch configured for sharing? So, or st I'm sorry, not sharing, stacking. Is it configured for stacking? I said, um, I don't know, I didn't set it that way. And he says, well, you show stacking. Let me show stacking command. And uh, 
what it showed me. Back in. It showed 49 and 50. It said, uh, I think, I believe it said uh, designated. I can't remember the exact term, but I believe it said designated, which means 49 and 50 could only be used for stacking. So he goes, okay, well, you could just disable those ports for stacking, but since, you know, this switch is really a single switch and it's never going to be stacked, I said, I would just disable stacking if I were you. So I just disabled stacking support. I had to reboot the switch again, came back up, and bada bang, we have what you see here. 49 and 50 showed up, 10 gig full, because I'd already configured the port speeds, I'd already enabled the ports, and everything just came right up. So, because what we were looking for is this. We wanted all of those showing up as aggregate. Um, we want them active and we don't want them to be aggregate members. So this yes means it's a member of an aggregate link. And so there we go. It finally, finally got it up. Um, yeah, so that was, that was interesting. So now at least I finally have a procedure on how to uh, properly upgrade from a dual to a quad license. And uh, yeah, so I got two more switches like this to do. So hopefully that'll uh, that'll just take care of it for me. So at any rate, that was it. That's my issue of the week. I hope you found that interesting or informative or entertaining. Either one, I'll take I'll take any one of those. As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hit the subscribe button or click the uh, notification bell if you want. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all next week. And uh, have, a happy, have a happy Valentine's Day. God bless. Uh, stop, 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 stop.